everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. I have a particular segment for you today that I think that you're going to find very interesting and it's in reference to carefree summer fragrances. Fragrances that I know that you are going to love because they're going to be completely hassle free. That's why I classify them as carefree fragrances. Carefree fragrances are fragrances that you can wear with assurance that you are going to be very complimentary yes because they're wonderful fragrances they have a very nice aroma and they have a wonderful pleasant longevity applied toward them as well so if you're going to get all the benefits of wearing these particular fragrances this summer and you're going to not have to worry about any conflict in your selections if you have these fragrances available or if not you have to recommend them to you you are going to want to have access to them because you are going to recognize that they are wonderful to possess. And I thank you so much for tuning in to this particular channel. I am Love of Fragrance. I post on this particular channel several times a week. And please hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. And continue to subscribe. I thank you so much. And without any further ado, we would like to get into these here carefree summer fragrances that I have to recommend to you because I have several and I don't want to take up too much of your time <laughs> but the first one that I have available to you happens to be Adoli. Adoli is a wonderful beautiful fragrance by Lancome and it happens to be a fragrance that is classified as one of the modern cypher fragrances by Lancome because it is, has a beautiful floral Mm, scent applied toward it. It's so abundantly flourishing with flowers, a variation of flowers. But however, with this particular fragrance, your pr prim primary scent that you're going to obtain from this happens to be roses. It has a very, very light, light pink color tone toward it and how it smells just like the color happens to be just like pink roses and this particular fragrance is excessively floral but it's consists of bergamot and pear those notes are dominating this particular fragrance and it has a hint of jasmine in it and it's so elegantly sweetened just perfectly compositionalized to the point where it's exceptionally entertaining it's a very entertaining fragrance. It isn't very loud. It's very soft and it's very delicate. You have to excuse me. Something was in my eye. It's very light. It's very delicate to wear, but it's very, very confident. In other words, you have a lot of confidence with this fragrance because it elaborates such a beautiful scent. It's embodied beautifully and the compositions are aligned exceptionally beautifully. And you will particularly really find this very admirable for summer wear because it has that floral aroma as if you are walking around a full bouquet of flowers independently all by yourself, honey. Wherever you walk, you're going to leave a penetration, a bouquet of roses behind you. Because that's what you get with this fragrance. It has a composition, like I said, some musk in it, but it doesn't penetrate loudly. In other words, it isn't very detectable. But the floral notes in this particular fragrance, a Lancome, a Dooley, they are beautiful, then they are the dominant projectile in this particular fragrance, and I think you will adore it because it screams floor, floor, floor. <laughs> it, sp it screams flowers, flowers, flowers. It screams flowers. It just screams that when you apply to your body. That's all you're going to smell. A beautiful bouquet of nothing but pink roses. So I recommend a dolly for your carefree self. <laughs> and the next one that we have <laughs> happens to be Ammo. Ammo. You remember me bringing this fragrance to you by Salvatore Ferragoma? Yeah. Honey, this is a beautiful fragrance this summer as well. Mm, mm, mm. The fragrances, this particular fragrance, I'm going to describe them to you as I go along. This particular fragrance right here, this aloe fragrance, has such an elaborate scent applied toward it, honey. It's like you're in a candy factory. Not 
be proud of Candy Type of Candy Factory is its own personalized individual fragrance. Candy Factory, because of the fact that it's an oriental fragrance, it's an oriental fragrance that consists of, uh, again, an exceptional amount of floral arrangements within this particular scent. I'm going to try a little bit of this as well. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But you know what? It isn't quite as sweet as the Adoli because it has some black currant in it. Yeah, an exceptional amount of black currant in this particular fragrance, but it also goes over into some rosemary scents. And it has an exceptional amount of jasmine in it again, but yet still it has some more harsh rhubarb notes applied toward this fragrance, which makes it a little bit bitter. But it also has a, a spicy note applied to it, which happens to possibly be the sandalwood, the oud observation that you're going to attain from this particular fragrance come from the sandalwood. And then it has a hint of vanilla in it. But all of those there elements penetrating themselves upward from this particular fragrance as it began to dry down on your body. It gives a combination of luxuriousness because of the aroma itself. It isn't one of those there fragrances that are so sweet where it's unbearable or it's too young smelling. It, this is a more mature smell with this particular fragrance, but it's exceptionally attractive. And with these hair fragrances that I'm introducing you to today, if any of them can be worn at any time throughout the summer, it could be any day, evening, office wear. If you're wearing it specifically to a, an office environment or a work environment, you just have to be conscientious about the numerous amount of fragrance that you apply to your body. In other words, I highly recommend that you wear this one sparingly because if you apply it excessively, the, the tone, the, the scent is uncomfortably appealing. When I say uncomfortably appealing, in other words, it becomes very, very loud, a little bit too loud for summer wear. So if you were to wear this just very lightly on your body, I think you'll find it very appropriate for the summer as well as I do. It's a very wonderful fragrance. It has a very beautiful scent, and I highly recommend this one to you as well. Okay, moving right along. I have another fragrance here for you, and this particular fragrance happened to be Parada Candy. I have brought this fragrance to you several times in a video, and honey, you know for a fact that this is definitely designed specifically for carefree summer wear because of its scent and the application process of a carefree, happy, go lucky entertaining, very playfully elated individual that you will become when you wear this fragrance because it's not childish, it isn't girly, exceptionally girly, but it's exceptionally sweet to the point where you perceive yourself to be in a candy factory. Yes, it's really sweet. From my memorization, I can't put all these things on. I want to be able to smell it all. Mm. From my memorization, I thought that this hair, Parada Candy, I haven't worn it in a while. That's why I say from my memorization, this Parada Candy right here, I find it to be a very, very elegant fragrance. But not only does it have to be elegant, it has a mixture, a mixture of composition that's designed by musk and jasmine, vanilla and caramel all blended together and all of those are attributes or notes in this particular fragrance designs such a beautiful lovely scent and it has vanilla in it and an exceptional amount of powdery notes applied to this fragrance which gives it an exceptional amount of sweetness if i didn't say it before i'm sorry caramel it smells like candy and it smells just like can caramel candy and that's why i said it smells like a, ca a car candy caramel candy factory it's exceptionally lovely and it's a beautiful scent and I have to apply it on myself. Mm. The vanilla in this fragrance is so prominent, but the caramel and vanilla mixed together gives that gourmand uh, twist of a scent 
that's so enticing that you will find it beautiful to wear this particular fragrance. So another high recommendation for carefree summer wear. And moving right along, I have another one here that I think that you are going to find exuberant, exuberantly lovely. And it happened to be Mr. Narcisco Rodriguez. I have brought this fragrance to you so many times. And the reason I do is because I truly, truly, truly love it, honey, 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 honey. This happens to be up there with several of my lovely, uh, excessive appeal, excessively appealing, luxuriously designed fragrances that I classify as my signature scents. And this here, Mr. Salvatore, I'm sorry, Mr. Narcisco Rodriguez. This here is a pottery, a pottery fragrance. And not only does it happen to be in this elaborately beautiful container, but it's perfect for carefree summer wear. Perfect for that because, honey, who doesn't want to take a shower, get out of the shower, and place on something that makes you feel, smell, that makes you smell so refreshing and so refined as if you are baby's butt. <laughs> as if you are a baby's bottom. Trust me. That's what this fragrance makes you smell like. Have you ever smelled the baby's body and bottom when it's fresh and clean and it's full of baby powder or you use baby oils all over the booty and everything? Well, honey, I just want you to know that this thing right here reminds you of your baby, newborn baby's bottom because of the fact that it's so powdery, just like baby powder but it has a hint of maturity to it. And it makes you feel so youthful, but not baberish, but youthfully refreshing. Like you have a natural aroma of refreshing scent that's luxuriously elegant, just like this fragrance here. It doesn't smell like you have anything on. It smells just like you would smell if you were that fresh. <laughs> That's what it smells like. It's a beautiful fragrance. And I just love this fragrance. And it's perfect for the summer. It's, I, mm, honey, it just makes you feel fresh. Fresh, fresh. So refresh. Mm, and the scent's so luxurious. Mm, honey, this is lovely. This here is Beauty in the Bottle. What do they call it? Beauty in the Beast? This is Beauty in the Bottle. Yes. <laughs> I recommend Mr. Narcisco to you as one of your carefree fragrances. You will love it. And I have another one here that I am sure that you are going to completely admire. And it happens to be none other than Versace. Versace and Chess. Isn't that a beautiful container? Honey, every time I look at this bottle, all I can see is Diamonds all through. <laughs> That's all I can see are diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Diamonds all through. Diamonds all through. That's all I can see are diamonds. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cute. Versace Yellow Diamond Intense. I'm even aesthetic. Who's been using my fragrance? Mm. This particular Versace Yellow Diamond, it happens to be a sister fragrance to the original Versace Diamond, but this one is supposed to be for Versace Yellow Diamond Intense. I really love this fragrance right here. It has such a passionate scent applied toward it. It has a passionate scent of explosion. In other words, when you put this on your body, it goes on without any penetration whatsoever, but then after a while, like, poof, it just explodes. It has a set of explosion applied to what it, because of the fact that it has very complex notes in it. These notes in this particular fragrance consist of neroli, pear, orange blossom, and frisa. Yeah, frisa. Very complex notes. That's just a hint of the many notes that are in this particular fragrance, but I think what makes the scent in this particular fragrance so elaborately beautiful has to be the neroli because it has a sweet twist of bitterness. Mm. 
And that sounds strange. Sweet twist of bitterness. But that's exactly what it smells like. It's sweet, almost like a gourmet, but then yet it's bitter like like this color here, like a lemon. But it isn't sour. It's a beautiful, lovely, exquisitely designed scent that only this fragrance possesses. It's very un unusually designed. That's what makes it so lovely because when you, it has a personality of its own. When you put this particular fragrance on, anyone that detects this fragrance on your body, they're going to know exactly what you're wearing. Especially, especially if they're fragrance lovers. It's very unique, very beautiful to wear, and very appropriate for carefree summer. And it's not one of those fragrances. None of these fragrances are the fragrance is going to try bees, but you can wear them with the assurance that you smell lovely. And that's the idea. <laughs> okay. Okay, here. Oh, God, I can still smell it. I can still smell that Versace when I got ready to set it back over there, honey. It's like the scent was going away like mm, mm, I could go with it <laughs> okay here we go we have another one here and this one happens to be Yahtzee yes by Givenchy I think I brought this fragrance to you several times as well Yahtzee by Givenchy please excuse me from keep doing that the reason I keep doing that is because of something trying to get in the girl's eye and we can't have that. Yahtzee Pachi Vinci. You know this is another one of my signature scents right here. But I don't know who's using my fragrances. Look at that. I, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I don't know who did that. But I didn't do that. <laughs> I guess it's time for a refill. Because when they get like that, I get a little like panicky. I get panicky. Oh, my fragrance. Oh, who used my fragrance? My fragrance, going It's like I love them full. I love my bottles full. I like to use them now. I love my fragrances. I love smelling luxurious. I do elegant, sweet, mm, attractive. In fact, I think fragrances grant you all those attributes. But I hate using them. I don't like for it to disappear. I don't. And it's disappearing. It's, last time I brought it to you, I was like, Oh, I haven't used very much of it, but now it's it's definitely halfway full. I don't know who's using my fragrances. Do you know who's using my fragrances? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, this is Jatsi, <laughs> Jatsi by Givenchy, and let me just let you know, honey, this here, when this serve, I discovered this fragrance, I actually thought it was Chanel, <laughs> but honey, it's beautiful. I know Chanel has a variation of scents, so does Givenchy, but you know the reputation that Chanel carries and everything, you would think that you could never find a fragrance that would, that you would love just as much as you would Chanel. But this particular fragrance, I do. I love Yahtzee by Givenchy because of the radiance that this particular fragrance possesses and it has a lovely, exquisite richness opulence to it so exquisitely designed with the notes that are applied in here it gives it a spirit as if it's a spirit that you just can feel <laughs> trust me a spirit of feelness but let me let you know in this particular fragrance here we have some yang 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 lang notes amber musk with a hint of patchouli tuberose coconut Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> Ooh, child. I can't stop. And it has sandalwood and it's sweet with roses. It's sweet with roses. I'm not going to say it's a gourmand scent, but it, with the notes, the patchouli, the notes that they have in here, the combination is so beautifully orchestrated to the point where it's undeniably a very attractive for a summer scent, but I recommend this one actually to, I would say, a little bit more mature lady, someone <laughs> that love a very, very, very detectable, detectable, very alluring, a, a scent that's strong. I'm not going to say hard, but strong and durable and 
potent that has that power to it. This is your girl. But when you wear this, I don't think it depends on the individual. It depends on where you're going because of the fact that if you apply this thing to your body, it's going to be alluring. It's going to be attractive and exceptionally complimentary. And if you don't want an excessive amount of compliment, I don't think you can put on just a dab of this fragrance and, and minimize it. It has that much potency to it. You can't minimize it excessively because of the fact it's beautiful. But I've been talking too much and I have many more fragrances to go through. Let me get busy. It's your girl. This is one of your girls. This is my girl. <laughs> my signature scent, which one of my loves, one of my special loves, one that I just have to, sometimes I just open the container and go, Oh. <laughs> it's like, whoa, so heavenly. I'm like, honey, honey, honey. I love it when you can open a fragrance and open a nozzle. And you don't even have to apply it to your body. You can just do this. And you can attain the assurance that the fragrance is lovely. And that's what I do. I do it all the time with this one. Just to make myself feel that, oh, love, 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 love. Yes. Woo. Thank you, Yahtzee. Highly recommend as your carefree summer fragrance. But it has a hint of maturity to it, so you be the judge. And we have another fragrance here for you that I think that you are going to also fall in love with. Yes, and guess what? It's Bullberry Weekend. Bullberry Weekend. Bullberry Weekend. I know it's been around for a while and you people probably have forgotten about it, but let me tell you, you can't forget about Bullberry Weekend. You won't know why? Because the scent won't let you forget about this fragrance. It's another one of those sweet, 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 attractive fragrances that this girl highly admire i do and you know what the scent smells like it's appropriate for the weekend in this case exceptionally carefree summer fragrance and i say carefree summer fragrance because of the fact of the notes in here are very flowery very flowery but sharp they're exceptionally sharp and they have the scent of peach and marigold and vanilla and apricot in this particular fragrance and trust me, they are beautifully designed collectively. It's collectively beautifully designed, this particular fragrance, because when I first smelled it, it smells youthful, but it's not. It isn't. See now, with the Yahtzee, I put it into my nose and go, and I don't have to be concerned about what it smells like or anything like that. But with this one, not so much. But it has, it's very refreshing. And the oud notes in here are very defined. It's very attractive to wear. I love it. I'm not going to place any on right now because I have several fragrances on me. And they are very, they're elaborating themselves very distinctively. And so I'm beginning to feel like, the smell like, a bouquet of fragrances actually so i'm not going to put this one on but i want you to know i highly recommend blueberry weekend to you as well and without any further ado on that particular fragrance i have another one i would like to recommend to you that honey i think i introduced this one to you already but it wasn't for some occasion but if you remember several videos ago I recommended a fragrance to you that I thought was appropriate for a NASA season. But I want you to know that some of them are okay for multiple seasons or all year long. It depends on the fragrance. And this one, whatever I recommended it to you before, it was appropriate for then and it's appropriate for now. A carefree summer fragrance. Because of the floral pottery notes applied to this particular fragrance, this here happened to be Daisy. Daisy by Marc Jacobs. 
and it's a very elaborate beautiful container and everything we've gone through that before and we're going to discuss that so much right now but we are going to discuss this here particular fragrance is named sunshine do you see it everything about it is yellow the top the flowers the yellow um fragrance inside it's it has a color to it as well it doesn't stain your body or anything and it doesn't come out yellow but I don't think it's the bottle itself, but the fragrance I think has a yellow tone to it as well. Because when I turn it to the side, it may be a hint of yellow at the bottom. That's a reflection to the top. But I just think it's very beautifully designed. And that's why they named this overall um, edition Sunshine. Because of the fact that it looked like the sun. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? I see it. <laughs> Well, this particular fragrance also, as you probably have guessed, it consists of an exceptional amount of daisies applied to this fragrance, and also it has an exceptional amount of additional floral notes applied to this particular fragrance as well. Not only that, it has an explosion of um, daisies, an explosion of phrases, daisies, and a variation of daisies, and it has some, um, I think it's like a... It smells like a little bit of patchouli and also some types of spices apply to this particular fragrance, but it's a very lovely scent and I highly recommend this one also for your carefree summer. Check it out. Moving right along, we have another one here. Um, This one, lovely, lovely, lovely. This is my girl. This is my girl, and I also made this one one of my signature scents, honey, honey, honey. Chloe! <laughs> I can never go through the majority of my fragrance when I do them in a segment of a collaboration like this. I can't go through them without mentioning this fragrance because it falls into a variation of categories. But this one right here, Chloe Nome, is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. And it gives me the ability to express what I'm encountering much more accessibly if I smell the fragrance in this one, potent. Not excessively potent, it's very delicate, but it has a potent aroma to the point where it's very entertaining and very enjoyable and pleasurable. Mm. It has a composition of varipella, plum, freesia, and oak moss. Beautiful scent, beautiful scent. I'm not going to put this one on either, but I just want you to know that I highly recommend Chloe to you for your carefree summer fragrance. Lovely, lovely, lovely Chloe. Okay, a few more to go. I did not plan to take this much time. I try not to talk too much, but I... Mm, mm, shut up, shut up, shut up. The next one that I have happens to be... Coco Chanel Chance. Honey, you know this with this Coco Chanel. You can never go wrong and I will never not, not recommend a Coco fragrance to you. Coco Chanel fragrance to you. And this one happened to be Coco Chanel Chance. I don't know if I brought this fragrance to you before or not, but I just want you to know this is a very beautiful scent. This has a predominantly citric aroma to apply toward it, but it has a hint of grapefruit to it. It has some white roses al along with some jasmine and musk and oud fragrances scent applied to it as well. It's not very strong and very dominating, but it's very lovely and very attractive. A very admirable fragrance for... I would say a very elaborate occasion. <laughs> yes, it has an exquisite amount of opulence to this particular fragrance as well. But like I said, it's light and very appropriate for your carefree summer wear. So I can't, it's not penetrating very loud out of the container. Let me try this. This is very unique and very different, and the grapefruit make, gives it a little bit of bitterness as well. And a lot of people don't care for a bitter fragrance, especially a lot of um, young ladies, but it depends on the occasion because with this one, it's still very soft and it's still delicate, but yet and still it has a hint 
of Gorma since applied to ward it as well. Mm. Oh God. As it began to dry down, it just become more beautiful and much more floral and much more attractive to where you can smell the white roses in this fragrance. Mm. It's very delicate, very delicate scents consisting of an, an exceptional amount of white roses and that's what makes it exceptionally di distinguishing. And I highly recommend this one to you as well, but I want you to know I have a couple more here that I also recommend to you for your summer wear and it happens to be this one right here. You know, I don't have a name for this fragrance. I really don't. All I know is that it must be a a flanker. It must be a flanker of Jessica Simpson's Lovely because it says lovely here and it doesn't have a name or anything and I looked this fragrance I couldn't find it anywhere but it's beautiful it has a beautiful scent and it smells a little bit like Mr. Narcisco Rodriguez um fragrance because it's exceptionally powdery exceptionally powdery but it's beautiful it's, it has a beautiful aroma and it's exceptionally lovely and designed exquisitely design exquisitely and I wish I could give you more info regarding it but I can't because it came just like this right here I put it in this container and you know what containers are very important very important when you are distributing your fragrances because of the fact that a lot of people don't recognize it that someone if they love the packaging the container the way it looks they will purchase the fragrance based on the way it looks on the outside and honey, if the aroma is beautiful, that's an added bonus toward a purchase of this, of a fragrance, a specifically merchandisable fragrance. Because I love to look at beautiful containers and have them on display on my vanity. And this one here is one that's not a designer fragrance. And for as a classification of it, I don't even see it as a, a celebrity fragrance. I don't know. If it's a niche or what, I'm not sure. I know that it's in a beautiful container and it has a beautiful, exquisitely designed aroma applied to it. And such sophistication overall, I found it undeniably lovely to the point where I had to possess it. And that's why I obtained this particular fragrance because of the aroma and the container. But as far as like, Anything else revolving around it, I cannot inform you of everything regarding around this fragrance because there's no info. I don't even know where the hell it came from. <laughs> I did bring it home, but I just want you to know that's all I know. I can't do, I can't locate this fragrance anywhere. I have no info on this fragrance, and that's strange. That's strange, but. I can't recommend it to you, but I have it, and I love it. <laughs> Beautiful for the summer, and I will be wearing it. My last fragrance that I would like to recommend to you, and I have gone way over my time frame. But, see, I set myself a time frame before I start producing my videos, and I never adhere to that. I try. But I always exceed it. And then I, after I do that, oh, I'm so mad at myself. I'm so mad at myself. Here, my last fragrance have to be. You know, I brought it to you not too long ago, my week-long fragrance. This is one girl. <laughs> one girl. Look at the little trigger. Check it out. This one, honey, you can't, like, sniff like that and attain any scent. You have to spray this one <gasps> excuse me you have to spray this one oh that's a beautiful scent it's a beautiful scent anyways I gave you the description last week of all the notes and everything in there take my word for it this here is a beautiful carefree summer fragrance as well and I highly recommend to it to you I highly recommend it to you and I thank you very much for tuning into my channel and please hit the notification bell and continue to subscribe and I thank you for listening. See you soon.